Okay. Now, so, yes. The parallelogram's height, perpendicular height, is exactly the same as the triangles's perpendicular height because the triangle's base is formed, the triangle's bases are both formed off of this line, which is one side of the parallelogram, and their opposite vertex is on the other side of the parallelogram, right? So being that these are two parallel lines, the perpendicular heights all the way along will be exactly the same. Does that make sense? So for instance, if I were to draw another triangle in here, right, which had the same base, it would also have the same area. And I could draw a triangle anywhere. I could draw one over here, which had the same base. It's got the same height, so it will also have the same area. I can slide that base anywhere I like, and its perpendicular height is preserved. Is that OK? No, because um, every point of a parallel line is like the same perpendicular equal, height. Perpendicular distance between them. That's why you can use it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Yeah. Keep on keep on thinking about it. Don't, don't leave behind, but I'm going to keep moving on. Okay. okay, so now you remember, it clicked for me that I wanted a ratio to give me this. Now look at PC and PR. Look at PC and PR. We've been thinking, because I coloured it in, right? I've been thinking of this triangle up here, the red one. But PC and PR don't just reside in that red triangle. Where else do they reside? In the other one. They reside in my uncoloured triangles here. You see that? PC's there and PR's here, right? Now look at these two triangles. They're uncoloured, right? Mm -hmm. Can you see, because of all the parallel lines I've got, well, <clears throat> number one, vertically, vertically opposite. I only need yes. one more pair of angles. Oh, How about this guy and this guy? Ooh, well, Bam, right? Why are they equal? Those alternate two. The, why are the stars DNA. equal in this case? Alternate Very good. I've got they are, right? And oh, CD. Right? So there's my parallel lines and there's my transversal. You see that? Okay. So I know where I'm going now, so I'm going to say in these two triangles, the uncolored ones, in triangle B, P, R, and triangle C, P, D. Right? Whew. All right, which angles did I say? I wanted those angles, actually, B, P, R, and C, P, D. They're vertically opposite. And then the other guys were through alternate angles, right? So I'd say RBP and DCP. By the way, just as a, um, a note, I have mentioned this before, but just to say it again, alternate angles on, and I've got so many parallel lines here that I don't want to confuse them, so I'm going to name the parallel lines I've got. You might think that's a bit excessive, but actually it saves you time because this is shorter to right than parallel lines. So why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. Alternate angles on parallel lines are oh, well, I equal. Wrote, I wrote parallel lines and then I wrote And then you wrote that, right? <laughs> I have no problem with that, but if you want to save some time, therefore, I have two triangles that are similar. Okay. You're almost there, aren't you? You're so very close, okay? I'm proving similarity for what purpose? I want the ratios, right? So I wanted, um, I wanted PC and PR, right? So I've got PC and PR there. So it looks like I'm going to say, let's compare PC to, I've even written it down. PC, PR, that's going to give me PT and... B. Are you happy with that? So what am I comparing? I'm comparing PC and PB. Those sides are in different triangles, but they correspond. right? They're, that's a corresponding pair. And then I've got these guys off at an angle. They're a corresponding pair. So that's what my two pairs are. okay? And that's because corresponding sides, etc.
Okay. Now, the rest of this falls out so very nicely. Let's cross multiply. So we can say <coughs> PC by PR equals PD by PB. I'm happy with that. Is that okay? Um, but I want to get from here, here, which is just about sides, I want to get to something like this. Now, don't freak out. It's okay. A half, that's a constant. Right? You agree with that? Sine of this angle, right? That's also just a number, whatever, depending on what CPR is. Okay? So therefore, I can just multiply both sides by, let's go a half, PC, PR, sine this. If you multiply one side by that number, you better multiply the other side by that number. Sine C P R. Okay, what's left? So I need the angles. I need the angles, don't I? Okay, how are you going to get across to the angles? Okay, now remember, remember, I went from green to blue. Green and blue are, sorry, green and black. Green and black are the same, aren't they? Right? So that's exactly right. If I can compare red and black and show that they're the same, and this is almost the black triangle, right? I just need this other angle here, which is vertically opposite, right? Right there. Okay? So if I say uh, sine CPR should be the same as sine, what are we calling it? BPD, right? Yeah. Oh. I've run out of space over here, but the reason is vertically opposite. Oh. You see that? I've just switched the angle. Just switch the angle. Oh my goodness. Okay. See it? So now I have my areas. I've got the area of, what's this guy? This is CPR. Right? What's he equal to? What is this triangle? It's the black one, right? BPD. But I started off proving that that area is in fact BDQ. That was the first thing I said after perpendicular height. So therefore, despite the fact that these things are not, they're emphatically not congruent, okay? Um, you can even see in the diagram they are not congruent, okay? But because of the way this thing is being constructed, Equal areas. Um, just ten seconds, right? Would you would, would the students ten, benefit nine, from like? Eight, uh, that's <laughs> not ten seconds. <laughs> Especially because you skipped seven. No. Sorry. Um, <laughs> would, the, 